what's up guys this is sunny back with another video and today real quick i want to show you guys how you can update your uh, ryzen torch to a uh, latest version like if you're running mac os catalina 10.15.6 right now how you can actually update like you can do regular update so really easy guys and one more thing i just want to uh, answer you guys because you guys always ask me now do you have to uh, update the open core bootloader now i'm currently running open core uh, 0.5.9 bootloader and you don't really need to update the bootloader okay as long as you update the mac os you should be fine the bootloader really doesn't make any difference okay not like your computer is going to get any faster or your mac os is going to get any faster the performance is same whenever um you update the bootloader yes the bootloader will have more options but actually not going to make any huge difference okay so today i'll show you guys how to update your uh, amd ryzen tosh uh you know mac os version to the latest version 10.15.7 so i'll show you guys currently i'm running let's go through about this mac and you guys can see currently I'm running macOS Catalina 10.15.6. Alright. And if you guys want to know which system I'm currently using. Uh, I'm currently using my backup system here. Uh, I have an ITX motherboard. Uh, big shout out to uh, DVZN Media Eric. He hooked me up with this Asus motherboard. So definitely check out his channel. Uh, only problem this motherboard had uh, the Ethernet uh, port didn't work and for some reason the RAM didn't work so yeah now I managed to fix the RAM and I also have a USB adapter right here for Ethernet so working fine right now and also I have my Ryzen 7 uh, 2700 CPU in this system and RX 5 74 gig graphics card and if you guys were wondering which power supply i have in the system uh gamdeus ashtrap 750 and the case i have here uh master box from cooler master uh, i believe q300 there will be a link in the video's description don't forget to check out all right so let me show you guys how to update so basically you need to go to about this mac and then you can just Go to software update here or you can go from the app store but you can click here software uh, update and then you can click on update now you guys can see we have uh, mac os catalina 10.15.7 update so update now and then basically system will ask you to uh, download and restart so if you want to download and restart make sure you just click here now before that guys make sure you back up all your importing data in case anything goes wrong so you don't have to uh, worry all right and if you also want to back up your efi folder just in case uh, you can do that so now we can click on download and restart and right now downloading new update so it will take about 13 minutes so i'll be back so you guys can see here restarting computer okay so we need to restart the computer so we can update so let's click on restart
so basically here um, showing uh, the Apple logo and the loading bar and you guys can see here about a minute remaining now keep in mind guys um, uh, updating like the Mac OS it does take some time so have patience and do not restart your computer don't do anything all right so I'll be back after we're done with the first part right here all right so we're starting right now and here let me show you guys real quick All right, so make sure after the first uh, restart, make sure you go to one Mac OS installer. Enter. So you guys can see the Apple logo and the progress bar right here, or the loading bar, whatever you guys wanna call. Now this process will take some time, so I'll be back. All right, so I'm still waiting and I wanna show you guys something. So like three minutes ago, it was showing uh, around 42 minutes it will take, but now basically the minute uh, went down to, uh, right now you guys can see 11 minutes remaining. So it takes about like 14 minutes, I guess. So I'll be back after this part is done. All right, so the system is restarting right now. Let's see. All right, so I'll show you guys. Alright, so we are done installing the update. So we can now boot from our main drive, uh, Ryzen Tosh drive right here. So enter. You don't have to do that. Like system will automatically uh, boot up from the main uh, drive. So currently we are waiting, you see the Apple logo here, progress bar or the loading bar, whatever you guys want to call. Okay, and we are currently waiting. And this time we put it from our uh, main uh, drive, I named this drive uh, Ryzen Tosh. Alright. Okay. All right, so now we need to wait 10 more minutes. So you guys can see about 10 minutes remaining. So now um, the update is still not done. You guys can see we have the Apple logo, we have the progress bar and currently showing about nine minutes remaining. So I think that's the final uh, update right now. So I'll be back guys after this. 
Alright guys, so less than a minute remaining for the final update, so I'm still waiting. And we are almost done. All right, so let's type my password here. We're finally done with the update. And now you guys can see here, your Mac is up to date, Mac OS Catalina 10.15.7. All right, simple as that guys. So let me go to about this Mac. And you guys can see, currently I'm running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.7. Simple as that, guys. So keep in mind, I'm still running Open Core 0.5.9 bootloader. So I'm not running the latest Open Core 0.6.1 bootloader. I didn't update anything. I didn't update any kicks. I didn't update any driver. I didn't have to do anything with my config playlist just simple update if you guys do like this video please don't forget to like this video also if you're watching me for the first time please don't forget to subscribe see you guys next one peace <music>